Okay, so we've just talked about plants, and for this, you're going to need your baggie that we made, um, that I made, and inside it has a little small bag that has a hole at the top. It has a piece of yarn, a cotton ball, and then there's two seeds. Here, let me get them out, because that's kind of shiny and hard to see. And it has these little seeds. One's white, which is a, a bean, a green bean. And then this is a pinto bean. And uh, Mrs. Hayward suggested the pinto bean. And then these were just some extra seeds that I, that I had already. So a bean. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to be sure that our little baggie is open. Because that is what we're going to put all of our stuff in. Oh. And you're going to need a little bit of water. So I put some water in this little glass dish that I have here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to pull my cotton ball apart. So I have two pieces. And that's only because this little bag is not huge. And I need my cotton ball to fit down inside there. So you can choose whichever half you want. I'm going to put it in some water and make my um, cotton ball wet. I'm going to squeeze out most of the water like this. Now it's still got some in it because we want it in there. Now what we need for our seeds is water. So we have our water and our cotton is going to work like um, like the dirt would. So we're going to put the cotton ball in and then we're going to drop both of our seeds into the bag. So here's my green bean seed. I'm going to put it in here. And here's my pinto bean. Now I put both my seeds in here. You do not have to put both of them in here. You can put one in here and then you could put the other one in this other Ziploc bag if you want to do that. I'm gonna put both of them in here just for the sake of time. So I'm gonna zip it up like so. And then I'm gonna put my yarn through here, the hole at the top. I punched a hole in it, and so you might have to have your mom and dad help you with get it through the hole. Okay, and then now for sure moms and dads will have to help with this. So I'm going to tie this in a knot, or um, you could tie it in a bow, but either way, the ends need to be tied together. So like this. Now you'll have to see if that's too long or too short, but it is actually a seed necklace. And um, we learned this through um, the Oklahoma, there was an Oklahoma program where we got to make seed babies. So you take this pouch and you stick it in your shirt and you wear it inside there because the heat from your body helps uh, the seed to germinate and it will eventually start to sprout. You can wear it every day. Now, if you don't want to wear it, like a seed necklace, you don't have to. You can take your yarn and a piece of tape and hang it in your window because if it's taped in the window and shines in the sunlight, um, the bean and the pinto bean will eventually start to sprout. So, um, that would be something very exciting. So I'm hoping that they'll sprout before the end of the week, which is why we did them today. So I'm going to go put mine in the window. I may go ahead and separate mine and put my other bean in here just so I can see which one goes faster. And um, so there you go. You guys go ahead. Have fun making your little plant necklace. And we'll check on them again at the end of the week. All right.